Yo, what's up? It's your boy Nedja, aka Ben and B from the Bronx. It's your boy Nedja, aka Ben and B from the Bronx. It's your boy. Ned. I think I got a message. I got a message. Hello, you know, Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk is on. This is my boy Ahmed Tuk Tuk. He'll uh, he's our uh, he's our answer and uh, his uh, phone is on. Yo, this is this is this is remarkable. It is because his phone was off, right? And now I got a text message telling me his phone is on. Okay, not by him. It's like an automatic text message. Like this guy's phone is on. How they? How the hell did they know that? You know? Are they spying on you? They are. The NSA, but this is Egypt, so it's the EGA. Is that correct? Okay, so. Yesterday, my teeth broke. My teeth just fell apart after eating M&M's. Um, so today, I got to go to the dentist real quick. We got to get that face because, you know, my shit look old mess still. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that shit look that. Oh, man. That hurt. Not my teeth, but this, you see my, my, my nail is long, and I was like, that's right. And I kind of like stabbed my damn lip doing that. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I'm pretty sure y'all did. I'm swagging up, son. Got that a -rap swag on, you hurt. Um, and I'm looking fresh as hell. Looking fresh as hell. Yesterday, Donald Trump decided to do one of his crazy fear-mongering speeches yesterday. Talking about rapists and all kind of craziness, criminals, and uh, crossing the borders from Mexico to the United States of America. This is facts. He well, he was stating facts, but what I don't know is, I mean, what, what makes me come, uh, like a little bit, what do you call that? What I can't understand is how does he know that women are, are, are giving their daughters pregnancy pills so they won't get pregnant because they're afraid that they, they're going to, you know, get raped when they you know, during their journey when they trying to cross the borders. Uh, how do you know that? That is, that is an assumption. Okay, that is an assertion. Um, maybe they, they're giving them pills. I don't know, whatever. But that right there is something that you put, you pulled out of your ass, literally. You just took it out of your ass. It's just, not literally, I'm sorry. It can't be literal. But it's definitely something that you just made up, butter. Because you're not making no sense at all. You're making her no sense. What the hell is this? Pap. I've been watching. I was watching this. Um, I was watching this discussion about you know uh, rape and whatever, like a rape culture, something I never heard of. But I, I come to understand that it's basically, you know, a society that um allows rape, right? That encourage rape or supports rape or doesn't punish rape, and this is called rape culture. That is the the terminology. Um, but. And I don't believe that because you know in the United States the rape culture. I mean, rape is illegal. Rapers, rapists are you know punished and whatever. But anyway, that's besides the point, right? So I, let me just say that I don't believe that there is a rape culture because society doesn't allow rape to you know uh, to occur. Like it is, of course it occurs, but I'm saying it is punished. It's not like it's not supportive of rape. You know, we are not supportive of rape. So to say that, you know, there's a rape culture, I mean, whatever, man, I don't, I don't know. But when, when, anyway, the same person that discussing that arguing against this uh, idea that rape culture exists in the United States says that it actually exists throughout the Islamic state, like all over the Islamic world, um, which is ridiculous. That's something because I am Muslim and it really triggered me. He's like, yo, this has this guy really arguing uh, that there is no rape culture, but then argues that there is an Islamic because, you know, he has an agenda against uh, Muslims and uh, Islam. Probably he has no knowledge of Islam. Now the the thing is like, you know, in Islam you killed if you rape. I mean, you 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 caught raping, you're you you're dead. Um, you're absolutely dead. Over here in the United States, you're not killed at all. Like, you're imprisoned for several years and you let go. And uh, the cycle continues, okay? Um, people get comfortable in jail because they know it's a place to sleep, it's a place to eat and work out and have some fun with, uh, you know, the same sex. 
<clears throat> sorry, threw up a little bit. Um, you know, uh, yeah, it, the, the people get comfortable. L literally, this is something I witnessed uh, so many times because I do. I am from the hood. I am from the block. I see people, you know, feeling comfortable. They, there's a right to them. They don't care about going to jail because they, they're not worried. You know, they go to the jail. They come back like fifty pounds extra because they were, well, they were fed good. I mean, sure, nobody wants to go to the jail, but. At the, they don't mind it, is basically what I'm trying to say. And this is the United States. This is how it is. This is the the crime, the, the, the system. What I'm trying to say is compare that system to a, a, a Islamic system where where people who, thieves who steal certain amount. It's not like food. Like foods, you could sometimes be let go and you're forgiven. But if you steal like a car, or you steal something that you're not required, it doesn't, you're not required to steal. Like you really... It, you didn't have to steal it. You will, your hand will be cut off. Okay, so compare the two systems. I mean, you're literally killed if you rape. You caught raping, you're, you're dead. So how is there a cult, a rape culture? It makes no logical sense. Like, um, so the the argument is, you know, um, because people support it, and I don't see nowhere in Islamic State or anywhere, ISIS. Yeah, ISIS sure because they're ISIS. You know, they, they rape people all the time. They rape women. They're criminals. And this is go against Islam. So I don't know why people still compare ISIS as an Islamic law or whatever. This is literally against Islam. So it makes no absolute sense. Um, but uh, to, to say that we, uh, as a, the Islamic State, uh, you found co rape culture, like you try to correlate that there this culture exists because of the Islam, uh, that's absolutely nonsense. It's, it's illogical. It's that. Like, if you want to argue honestly, yeah, I, okay, yeah, I could see why you would say that there is a rape culture in the United States. Yeah, yeah, maybe there is because they're not punished as severely as they would be in an Islamic state. Okay, so uh, it's, it's free. I mean, I was with him during that part. Like, I was with him. Like, okay, yeah, I don't think the United States actually support rape. I mean, why would there be a rape culture? You know, they, you know, it's illegal. They get punished for it. But when he said, you know, oh, but Islam, they do it all the time. There is a rape culture in Islam, though. Okay, then I'm against you. I'm against you. Sure, when, if you commit rape, there needs to be witnesses. And that's because, you know, women, there are malicious women, malicious slutacons out there. Sluts, just fucked up people who want to argue or, 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 you know, not argue, but they want to claim rape uh, on, a, on a motherfucker because he... Uh, I don't know. He didn't give her much attention. Oh, he pr probably reject the bitch, and she's like, "Fuck it, I'm a, I'm a, call, I'm gonna just call the police and say you raped me, because you, you, you're a fucked up nigga, for for rejecting me, because you know they think so highly of themselves. You say it all the time. I mean, it happens. It does happen. Um, so yeah, uh, that is why you need witnesses. There are there has to be a certain certain amount of witnesses that witnessed the rape, uh, occurring. So that is a, a an aspect of the Islamic law, right? There needs to be witnesses uh, for a person to be, um, um, <coughs> for the person to be convicted uh, of rape. Okay, so if you're saying like that, that that this aspect that you know you need witnesses. I mean, obviously you need witnesses here in the United States. I think, right? I mean, uh, or, or, well, I don't really think so, because, you know, people going to jail just by, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, allegations, it's not really, they don't have to have real empirical evidence to, to, uh, to, to put forward in the, in the court. They literally just put people in jail because a woman c called rape three, four, five, six, seven years, 20 years, 50 years later, maybe even a couple of other women came up and, uh, well, if multiple women are, you know, uh, saying that this same person raped them, then yeah, they, it's possibly, it must be true. Why would all these women rape this, uh, I mean, call uh, say this guy raped them if it wasn't true, right? But because, oh, maybe because this guy is rich and they all were rejected, uh, not entirely. Maybe they had sexual intercourse, maybe they had sexual relationships with this celebrity, but then... Um, he was he rejected him. It's like a hit, hit and quit it type of thing, and they got offended, and they felt like twenty years later, 
that this person, okay, oh, he's on the news. There's a there's a movement now. Hashtag Me Too. Why not just do that? Because uh, I'm still feeling the type of way because this guy rejected me, and uh, you know he didn't he didn't want to be my um sugar daddy. So I'm gonna just put his ass in jail. So I'm gonna just go ahead. Or maybe people pay them. You know, maybe they they were paid by you know a, a, a person with a motive, a motive who is a rich person. Um, you know, a corporation, maybe, I don't know, someone that wants this, uh, potential, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, we, whatever, whatever the, the motive may be, I don't, I don't know, what I'm trying to argue right now, that I'm saying that Bill G Cosby wasn't really, uh, guilty of what he done, no, I, no, I'm not saying that, Bill Cosby looks like a rapist, but I'm saying, like, you know, I'm not saying because he's, and any it has nothing to do with race or anything like that. It's just the way he, you know, I mean that's a rapist type of language, I think. Um, so no, I'm not saying because of Bill Cosby. I'm talking about my boy R. Kelly. Like y'all fucking with R. Kelly. That's then again, no, he didn't rape nobody. I don't. No, nah, that's bullshit. Is what I'm saying.